いいだろう相手になってガンダムハイドレディーゴー And welcome to Gundam vs. Gundam.、Uh, this is our special feature of the Ebby stream this week, featuring my good friend Mecha. Hi. <laughs> Glad to have you here. I know you were pretty excited about this game, too. Yeah, I, I really like the、uh, Gundam vs. series. Agreed, yeah. Gu Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam was probably my favorite PS2 game.、Uh, and it does a lot of things that I actually wish this game does, did, rather.、Um, But as far as like, just a straight, straight gameplay enhancements, this game is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. It's interesting because、um, the way it's kind of this first series evolved is it reminds me a lot of like, how Street Fighter evolved, where the earlier ones are very kind of a bit slower.、Right. But by this point and by、uh, the current ones, which are extreme versus, they are incredibly fast paced, essentially fighting games. Right? Yeah, it's. I, I kind of wish I could play it online or actually play it against people because it's. I mean, it's really entertaining.、Um, every, I, what I really love is how different every character feels, too. Like, you're kind of seeing me just totally fail it up with Shiny Gundam here because I never use it.、Um, but, like, even stuff like palette swaps, like, all the cute. There are, like, three cute melees and they're all different.、So、they、yeah. all perform differently, and it's kind of fantastic.、Um, I know later ones it would do things where, like, you would have a different pilot piloting something and it would have a slightly different moveset, too. Right, yeah, like, that. Camille in, in, in、uh, the Gundam Mark II would be different than Emma in the Gundam Mark II. Right, yeah.、Um, I, think that's, I think that's the one right after this one. I don't remember what the actual name is.、Uh, Extreme Versus. Right, there we go. Yeah, this is. The fifth one, I believe, is from like, 2008. 2009? I think the arcade version was 2008. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I'll also take a minute to mention here we are using my favorite G Gundam character. <laughs> the strongest. LMB? Uh, yes, indeed. Sailor, Sailor Moon Gundam? Yes, and she's fucking badass in this game. Like, she's. Yeah, hopefully, you'll see more of her later, too. But, like, as this weird ass stage shows, she's, like, surprisingly capable. <laughs>、mm -hmm. Uh, they, this is where they,、uh, after they added the summon thing, so she summoned the Mandala Gundam. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Everyone has like an ally support <coughs> guy they can bring onto the field, which is pretty rad.、Um, I, this is so weird because this is a Zeta Gundam stage. The,、mm -hmm. the Hyakushiki's helping us out, but we're fighting enemies from 0080. <laughs> I don't、mm -hmm. know what the fuck's going on. Yeah,、um, it's. If, if you're. I'm assuming you're doing arcade mode with this?、Uh, no, actually, this、random. is one of the. These are all story missions. Oh, okay.、Uh, but, like, all, this, it's the loosest threads of story. Yeah.、Um, it's the same kind of story you get out of, like, Dynasty Warriors Gunman. Exactly right.、Like, all the universes ran together. Shit's happening. Deal with it.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, these are very good games. They really are. Absolutely recommend.、Uh, this guy's for the PSP. Gunman vs.、Yeah. Zeta Gunman is for, for the PS2. All、mm -hmm. fucking solid.、Um, and from what I've heard, there's rumors that the,、uh, the latest one is getting an. One of those Asian English releases, right?、Uh, the latest one, which is unfortunately thus far only on the PlayStation Vita, is actually confirmed to be an actual English release. Oh, fuck yeah, okay.、Um, probably digital only.、Um, the downside is I don't know how much of this is just kind of like fanboy hatred, but it's not been well received by the Japanese community. Gotcha.、Um, one of the things I heard regarding that was that might be backlash just because it's not like the stream versus. Oh, okay. Gotcha.、Um, But yeah, that one's called、uh, Gundam Extreme vs. Force.、Ah, okay. As I said, thus far PSP or PS Vita only, which is sad because. Why would you have PS Vita? But. <coughs> right?、Um, I'm going to take a minute actually to talk about Puru because Puru is the greatest. She、um, is. That's who I'm using right now for non Gundam fans.、Um, But her Q melee is interesting because it's a thousand points when most things are two or three thousand. So not only can you be okay, you can die with it a bunch.、Um, but its funnels, the little bit guys moving around,、um, are actually kind of autonomous. Like you switch between controlling it directly and controlling the funnels while you dodge. And I really like that because it means you can leave the funnels to do all the shooting while you focus on not getting obliterated by the fucking giant ass mobile armor. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool. The other cool thing about Puru is like all of her skills, because I, I cut a lot of this footage out, but basically every pilot has skills that you can enable for the stage, and all of Puru's are amazing. Like the one I'm using for this stage improves all of your stats for you and your ally. Nice. And it is, of course, Puru 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 Puru. Because what else would it be? Yeah, and I'm assuming this game also had. uh... 
Buddha too. Yes, Buddha Two's in, uh, and uh, Marita Cruz is also in. So, yeah, that's. Yeah. It was interesting to find that out because this actually predates the first episode of the Unicorn anime. Yep, Unicorn. So it must have been like an early like promotion. Exactly, I think it was. Yeah, because Unicorn and uh, and uh, the Shatria. Yeah, there we go. Shatria. Um, that's how I pronounce it. That's close. That's closer than I was gonna get. <laughs> But yeah, at some point I, I have to put together a Puru team and have Puru and Puru 2 and fucking Marita, Marita and Haman probably because of course. But Haman's the enemy of all Puru. She sent them out to die. <laughs> no, that was Glemmy Toto. Glemmy can go fuck That's himself. True. Yeah, everyone hates Glemmy. Speaking of Haman. <laughs> yes. So this I wanted to show off that palette swap thing because this is Haman's Cubalay, which is three thousand points and far more capable, but also a little bit more technical to use. Because you have to kind of direct the funnels yourself. Yeah. And, and to explain the points thing, the way the game works is each mobile suit has a point value, and your team has a total point, so when you die, you know, use that many points. Exactly. So this is kind of risk versus reward thing where you can have better suits, but you can die less with them. Right. And, and the story mode kind of mucks this up because you get a lot of yeah. stages where you just can't die, so you might as yeah. well just take the most badass things you have, which is what I did here. Um... Mostly I enjoy this particular run because seeing a funnel unit from Zeta just completely destroy something from Seed is really satisfying to me. Yes. Yeah, you're fighting Providence. <laughs> yep. Because I'm fucked up Seed. <laughs> yeah, you just destroyed him. Yeah, he did not even have a chance. And now we get to the other great thing about the story mode in this game, the gimmick stages. Yes. So you can see I start at 1 HP, and that does not change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's... I don't think there's a way to heal. There's not. Uh, there the only skills, there, there's yeah. Some specific suits have the old recover ability from Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam. So the first time they get shot down, they'll lose an arm or something and revive. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, you just can't get hit on the stage, which is uh, funny. <laughs> amusingly enough, speaking of Gundam Seed, you are in fact at a uh, a uh, what's your name? Fake Lacus Prime concert. <laughs> yep. Near yeah. Campbell, that was it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I like Seed a little bit more than that. No, I understand. Uh, I like I like the way that it's treated in Super Robot Wars Z. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, like I don't. Uh, I think yeah. everybody agrees. Oh, there you That's go. my only dot death this stage, and it was from my ally. <laughs> of course, that's what I get for having him on and Judo work together, I suppose. Yeah. But Ironically enough, she also judo. dies once this stage, and it's because of me. <laughs> Yeah, these these are uh, very fun games. So if you can track them down, yeah, absolutely recommend it. Uh, and yeah, I had promised you we'd do something gun related, so I wanted to get yes. footage from one. Yeah. <laughs> At least. Yeah, I think the main thing this one moves over Zeta or Gun vs. Zeta is. Gundam vs. Zagun had a huge amount of like single player story content. And it's awesome! Movie. It's like all yeah. alternate universe crazy shit happens in the Gundam universe stuff. And it's yeah, basically you do like what if what if such and such was important with every single character right down to like I think all of Jared's girlfriends. Yes. Who keep dying. In fact that's how you get the good ending for, yeah. for the Titans is to save all of his girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. Though at the very least you do it by playing as them. And, okay, now Schwarz actually gets a proper showing. Instead of a six second goat's gold uh, joke spot. Spiegel's hella good. Um, it has a really interesting melee moveset. I just picked a, another gimmick stage where you mm -hmm. really want to have long range weapons. But I yeah, I can imagine the, the, all the G Gundam units are just melee monsters. Yes, they're excellent though. Uh, they all come with really high armor values too, even at like 2,000 points, which is pretty great. But yeah, Schwarz is a lot of fun to use. This is just not the stage for him. <laughs> yeah, I would love to get a... Uh... The problem with these is every time one comes out, I'm like, oh, this is cool, but by that point there's a newer one in the arcade, okay, so I'm like, I think I'll wait for that one. Right. Except that happens every single time, so... Yep. I, they, you, almost as though they planned it that way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the most recent home console one was for the PlayStation 3 that's Extreme vs. Full Boost. Right, I think and I... That, yeah, that one literally came out just as Extreme vs. Maxi Boost, which is the one after that, came out in uh, the arcades in Japan. So. That's not confusing at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, also, the one like, after that's called 
uh, extreme versus maxi boost on. Oh, of course. That makes sense. Oh, and now we get to use the goof, which is one of yes. my favorite fucking units. Norris is a complete badass in this game, and he costs a thousand points. Like, it's ridiculous. Norris is a complete badass in general. This is true. The goof is not always the greatest union, unit, but... This, this goof is so awesome. Oh, it's awesome. Like, like it's great. Like if you if you ask me what my favorite fight in all of Gundam was, I'm pretty sure I would still say the goof versus the easy way. Right? That fight will forever live on in wonderful memory. This is another gimmick stage, by the way. Um, everything you fight has ridiculous long range weapons and mm -hmm. does like two to three times its normal damage. <laughs> And so it looks like you are in fact trying to do what he was doing, as, at least at the start, was take out gun tanks. Exactly right, yeah. Literally dodging cover to cover. Um, of course, then they up upgrade to double Zetas, and it makes it kind of complicated. <laughs> I also brought Uso with me because he was one of my better units for this, but you mostly just hear him dying in the background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming the, the V1 Gundam at least is on the cheaper side too. Yes, it is dirt cheap and kind of terrible that you can't shoot your like top fighter slash yeah. arms at people. Which yeah, I remember that. Yeah, they they let you do that. There's the uh, strike Gundam. Yep. Blast strikes. We get to murder. Yeah, murder Kira. Uh, we get an excellent murder on Kira later that I had to keep in. Um, but yes, yeah, always happy to murder scene protagonists. And I was really yeah. worried here that I was not going to make it, because I had one left, and he kept dodging fucking everything. <laughs> and then, suddenly I had to deal with yet another one. <laughs> Whoops. Yep. But we, we somehow pulled it out while getting shot oh, that is, that is actually horrendously appropriate, to get given yeah, Norris. Exactly. How... It's like, he died, but he destroyed the enemy. That's really what's important. <laughs> yes. Also, what spoilers for like a 20 year old anime at this point. Right. If you haven't seen 08 The Mess Team, just go do it. Yes. So it's one is, of uh, the best gun shows. Right, it really is. This is another kind of odd stage. This is the uh, Dakar speech from Zeta Gundam, so Char is telling everyone why the Titan's terrible. But mostly yeah, I just wanted to show off the double Zeta's awesome melee moveset. <laughs> Um, that is nothing but grapples, pretty much. It has beam sabers, it just never uses, it almost never uses. needs beam sabers? Right? When you can, you know, German suplex people into the ground. Exactly. It's just not a big deal. <laughs> um, so, playing, playing Gun vs. Zeta Gun, you do hear this Dakar speech. It's so very good. Oh yeah, it's one of the, it's, it's one of those stages like everybody does. Mm -hmm. Pretty irritating. Um, I actually end up cutting out about half of it here because I mean it is the whole four-minute-long thing that you have to defend. Here. Basically, you have to stop um, specifically the Asimars from hitting the other side of the stage. Yeah, which is annoying. Um, the Hyzaks don't really even go for it, but obviously they'll shoot you a bunch if you ignore them. But yeah, wow, that edit was smooth enough that I didn't actually notice it. <laughs> nope. Excellent. Um, but yeah. It's pretty fast, though. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad. And yeah, Double Z is a lot of fun to use as well, right in that 2,000 point range. This is the one I wanted to see. Uh, this stage is weird. It definitely starts out with the two um, 0080 protagonists fighting each other. Um, yeah, and then are you, are you interrupting their duel? Yes. Okay. Sorry, Schoolgirl Gundam's got something to say about it. Oh, well, yeah. you know. <laughs> this... This is the one with the school? Uh, but no, I don't think so. Well, not a school, but like school children. Oh, yes, you're right. She's like, no, you're not gonna kill each other, sorry. But yeah, then you hear this fucking, like, music overriding asshole, and Kira shows up for some fucking reason and wrecks your shit. Well, Kira also wants to interrupt our fight, but he's annoyed that you interrupt your fight first. That's what it is. And he can only end fighting by fighting her. Yes. And yeah, Alex is just taken care of without, like, a second thought. She just dies. <laughs> and of course, her super move is the Berserk System. Yep, and it's fantastic. Like, you can just see how much, like, power and impact it has immediately. Mm -hmm. Not that it stops me from dying at least once. 
Let's play. No, everyone dies at least once. Before. Exactly. They right. just get better because no one ever dies in C. Yep. Exactly right. <laughs> Even when they die, they get retconned to live later. Yes. But yes, my okay, favorite so thing. You got right? That is my favorite thing about Noble Gundam in this. She actually has that attack. Turns her from something that's just kind of a gimmick fighter to someone who's actually really good. Mm -hmm. And then I just got way too enamored with the idea of finishing Kira off with it and spent the rest of the stage make manipulating things so that that would happen. <laughs> As, as you do. Right? I mean, how can you not take that opportunity? Sadly, I don't think Sue Destiny and uh, G Gundam have ever been the same Super Lovers, so... No, tragically. They you, never, you never actually get to do the Kira fight with, like, Doman or Right? Andy. Tragically. <laughs> but we do get that awesome Berserker finish on him. Bye, Kira. Bye, no asshole. Likes you. <laughs> Except, you know, all of Japan, I guess. And that is actually it. That is the end of our Gundam vs. Gundam footage. Yep. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. Um, Drunk Souls is happening later tonight. Oh, I should get this up in the next couple of minutes. Um, so if you want to see me take a lot of shots and play a lot of Dark Souls, you should tune in for that at the normal Twitch channel. But Don't thanks die, to Abby. Right? Thanks for joining me, Mecca. Yep. Alrighty, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, everyone. Bye.